Now onto the 184 match here. We had Danny Branigle at 165. His twin brother Zach here at 184. Led Illinois last season with nine major wins. Was third in 35 dual points. Third in wins overall, 21 and 10 record. And he gets the number nine ranked wrestler, according to Flow Wrestling, Rocky Jordan out of Ohio State. Yeah, both these guys are some pretty highly ranked guys coming off some good seasons last year, so I can expect a lot of action. These two wrestled in that January 19th match last season. Jordan came out on top. An unranked Jordan beat number 11, Branigal, at Ohio State, 6-4 to four decision. Jordan took over the 184 spot in the middle of the season at the beginning of the Big Ten duel action for Ohio State. Said after that win against Branigal, was listening to his coaches, made some adjustments, and it was a big confidence booster heading into the rest of the season and he heading into this season too. Yeah, you can see them both hand fighting hard in the middle there. Trying to get that inside control and fire off a shot. There's Rocky Jordan with a good shot. That match last season, Jordan got two takedowns in the first, ended up leading four to one. Brannigle was able to tie it back up at four. From a, a late escape in the second and a escape in the early third. Yeah, they're hand fighting real hard here in the middle, trying to create an offense and get a good shot off. Under two minutes, no score yet. Here's a nice half shot from Zach Bronigal trying to create some action from that. You can see Zach trying to pull off that two on one. Hard left single from Jordan. They're back on their feet though. Under a minute 30 here. There's another half shot from Braun Angle. Both guys are firing off shots here early, just trying to get to their offense and get a maybe get a finish out of one of them. Brannigle ranked 10th. Flow Wrestling Jordan at number 9. So right near each other in the rankings. Again, Brannigle, his brother Danny, avenged a loss against Ethan Smith last season here today. And Brannigle looking to do the same thing, trying to avenge that loss to an unranked Jordan. Yeah, definitely. And like I said earlier, Danny's in, a captain of this team and a leader, and the same is for Zach. Both hard workers in the room if you're going to be captain's, named captain as a freshman. Half shot from Rocky Jordan again with that left side single. Under 30 here in the first, no score yet. They've both been digging for those underhooks the whole match so far. Haven't really created much out of either one. Most likely we're going to leave here in this first period with a 0-0 score. End of the first, we head into the second. Zero zero between Rocky Jordan and Zach Branigle. And Branigle will start from the bottom position looking to get an escape to get on the board first here. Yeah, you're going to see Rocky Jordan riding hard here. He's pretty good on top, and Zach's going to try and get a quick escape and get right back to his feet. You can see him fighting hands. Trying to build that base, maybe get a tripod up. Rocky Jordan's fighting hands hard here with another big lift. Right as you mentioned, Jordan working very well on top. He's trying for that tilt there, it's close. I'm only gonna have one swipe, nothing. No back points and we are gonna get, looks like a coach's challenge here. Not sure what they're challenging there, but See Coach Hafter on that block from the right side. Maybe a locked hands or something. Maybe we'll see if they wanted back points there for Jordan on that skirmish there right off the bat like we were talking about.
Rocky Jordan starting from top. 26 seconds here into the second. Been building that riding time up. Brandon Gobel got the escape and Jordan worked him back down. Bout got a near fall there. and Yeah, that was a nice return out of Rocky Jordan. Transitioning right in that tilt. Both guys wrestling hard here, though. Zach was fighting real hard to get to his feet, but Rocky Jordan with some uh, good returns. Pranagol, the green strap. Jordan in red. They call the mats, no and there wasn't a takedown, so the score remains the same, 0-0. Zero to zero. Yeah, right back where we left off. Ronigal trying for that tripod. Hard right shot from Rocky Jordan. He's looking for that cradle, though. A lot of action from both guys right here. Jordan up to 40 seconds of riding time. See Braun Eagle trying to create some action from bottom, maybe get his hands free. Rocky Jordan with that roll through tilt though, it's gonna be close, nothing. Tried the tilt, couldn't get anything, and Brandigal gets the escape, and takes a one nothing lead. Left side single from Rocky Jordan, but Braun has got some heavy hips on him, he's looking to score here, maybe get that right ankle of Rocky Jordan and circle around. He's gotta keep that head stuffed if he doesn't wanna get up this takedown. Rocky Jordan trying to just get him up off the mat. Jordan trying to lock in on that right leg of Branigal. And stalemate call will go back. Both wrestlers up to their feet in the middle. Both of them just trying to fight for that inside control here. Branigal able to get out with 56 seconds of riding time for Jordan, so Jordan not quite with that one minute yet. And Brannigle trying to take at least this one nothing lead into the third, possibly get a quick takedown here. Yeah, closing out periods is big for Illinois last week against Indiana. Scored a lot of takedowns at the end of periods and those ended up being big in the end for bonus points. Time running down and Brannigle takes a one nothing lead after an escape into the third. We're going to see Braun Eagle riding hard here, trying to bring down that riding time. With Jordan doing the exact opposite, trying to get out right away and keep that riding time as close to a minute as possible. Braun Eagle's going to be looking for a big lift here. Jordan to his feet momentarily. Braun Eagle got him back down. He's got a deep, tight waist with that right arm. He's going to be looking for a tilt here. He's pretty close to it. Silva starts swiping. Jordan's trying to get them, get those hands free. Brannigle got Jordan flat, trying to get some back points here. Almost got it there. And resets. Trying to work back in. Yeah, he's got a heavy ride here. He's looking at that leg. He's really digging for that tilt. Here's Stalling Jordan. call here on Jordan. Yep. Anytime you're flat here, you're going to be in danger of uh, giving up that stall call. Zach Braunagel can finish out the ride here. He'll get that riding time point and win the match. And Start off 56 seconds for Jordan to get a stalemate call here. 56 seconds of riding time for Jordan, and Brannigal works it all the way down, and now Brannigal with the riding time advantage, 11 seconds. Yeah, Rocky Jordan is looking for a fresh start there. Good Under trying. 50 here. Brandigal, one nothing lead. He builds up from that tripod. Brandigal's going to have to get a big lift here to bring him back down, but you can see Rocky Jordan's hands back on the mat. Hard cut from Rocky Jordan. Nice return from Brandigal. Under 30 here. Brandigal trying to hold on to that one nothing lead. 
He's about 15 seconds away from riding time here, which will be the decider in that match. Got Jordan flat momentarily back to his knees. They're on the edge here. You can probably expect Rocky Jordan trying to either get an escape or a fresh start here. With riding time up to a minute now with three seconds left. Five seconds left. Nice return to the mat. Brandigal secures that riding time, and he will take the match two to nothing. Jordan winning the matchup last season, and Brandigal returns the favor here. And Brandigal 2-0 on the season with a nice win against Rocky Jordan.